Hello! Today we are reading Disney's Zootopia. Zootopia was an amazing city. Animals of all different sizes and shapes lived and worked together happily. Everyone was equal, whether they had long claws or little paws. Anyone can be anything. Even a small bunny from a farm in Bunnyboro could achieve her dream job. Judy Hopps was the first bunny ever to join the Zootopia Police Department. Judy hopped with excitement as she waited for her first assignment. But when Police Chief Bogo handed her a machine for issuing parking tickets, her ears fell. She wanted to solve crimes not be a meter maid. Still, Judy wanted to do a good job. Her sharp hearing alerted her to expired meters and she wrote hundreds of parking tickets before lunchtime. Ding, ding. At noon, Judy headed to a nearby cafe for an elephant sized treat. There, she met a little fox who was desperate for a jumbo pop. His dad, Nick, was out of cash, so Judy offered to pay. But very soon, Judy learned that Nick had tricked her. He melted the jumbo pop to create smaller popsicles. Then he resold those for a big profit. That night, Judy went to bed disappointed. The day hadn't turned out like she'd planned. She wanted to fight crime I just need one chance. The next day, Judy got her chance. Mrs. Otterton's husband was missing and Judy offered to take the case. Assistant Mayor Bellwether agreed and Mrs. Otterton was so grateful. But Judy had only two days to solve the crime. Judy learned that Nick had seen Mr. Otterton recently. She convinced the fox to help her by pulling her own trick. She used her carrot pen to record him talking about his shady business deals. Oh, I never pay taxes. Reluctantly, Nick helped Judy gather clues all across Zootopia until they reached the rainforest district. The plan was to question Mr. Monches, the last animal to have seen the otter. Nick and Judy found Mr. Monches, but something was wrong with him. He had gone wild. Nick and Judy worked together and escaped. They were becoming friends. Both of them wanted to solve this case and prove they could do important work. Judy knew how to find their next lead. Using security camera footage, she led Nick to a scary building on the edge of town. Inside, they found more wild-eyed animals, including the missing otter. Why had these animals turned savage? A tip from an informer led Nick and Judy to an abandoned subway station. While Nick distracted the guards, Judy slipped into a subway car. That was also a secret laboratory. Judy saw a ram create a serum using a flower. She learned that the serum caused mammals to turn wild. Nick and Judy grabbed the serum and ran until they were cornered by Assistant Mayor Bellwether. The sneaky sheep had created the serum because she knew that if animals with claws and fangs, predators, became savage, citizens would be scared of them. Then the smaller animals would lock them up and take over. Bellwether shot a dart filled with a serum into Nick. The fox sank to all fours and started shaking. Bellwether smiled. She expected Nick to become savage and eat Judy. But Nick didn't turn wild. He and Judy had pulled their greatest trick. They had switched the serum with blueberry juice. Nick and Judy gave the evidence to Chief Bogo and Bellwether was arrested. All the animals who had gone savage 
including Mr. Otterton, would soon be cured. Judy and Nick had solved the case and proved that they were far more than a dumb bunny and a sly fox. They were partners and best friends, ready to fight crime in Zootopia. The end.